our bytocracy, and our insumptuous, patriotic arbitrariness, argued the Russian philosopher Ivan Ilyin whose ideas have inspired Vladimir Putin's government doctrine life at the heart of national redemption by a savior leader. It's precisely this redemption effect, he maintained, that allows a visionary leader to circumvent the shackles of an unresponsive legal order to save a believer's nation from the trammel corruption and absolute degradation. Drawing on Ireland's philosophical, musing, Vladimir Putin has established what can be called an arbitrocracy, where a political system is run by the arbitrary wings of an imperial presidency. In modern Russia, Putin's command is the law and his wish is the national agenda. In the words of Russian journalist Masha Gessen, Putin can effectively will his own truth, almost regardless of facts on the ground. In the Philippines, we are increasingly facing our own version of our bipocracy under President Tudor, who incidentally viewed Putin as his favorite hero. From the perfunctory shutdown of 4K last year to the shuttering of Lotto Outlet more recently, what's crystal clear is that Mr. Buter's words and wins are now often the expression of state power. Earlier this month, I found myself at the receiving end of another form of arbitrocracy, when some overzealous propagandists mercifully sought to demigrate, intimidate and even legally sanction me. On the way back from my hometown of Batlio, I stumbled upon a post by the Land Transportation Office National Capital Region, LTO Dashenberg, face to face, which, as sent any proper investigation or due process, accused me of reckless driving. Their evidence? An obviously stationary picture, background completely clear, that shows Chicago, my aunt's adorable Maltese dog, leaning over the steering wheel. The picture was taken on the way to Baclio City, while the vehicle was legally and safely parked, placed in key, park, steer, and in completely stationary and immobile mode. My aunt, whom I was taking back home to Baclio for a medical check is following her horrific feet ray earlier that had led to a broken nose among others, injury, took the picture. In our hometown, we reckoned, there would be people to check on her and the medical expenses would be less prohibited. In this context of almost gloomy hyper-emotionality, taking pictures of idyllic scenes along the way, peppered by Picasso's harmless antics, constituted our little moment of respite. Overwhelmed by the challenges of everyday life, we let our guards down, innocently embracing, brief moments of levity beyond our political struggle. But the ghastly episode involving my supposedly reckless driving took an even starker turn when, within less than 24 hours, the LTO session for Facebook page posted a subpoena against me, which even included my home address. My safety was now in danger, while I was being accused of the crime sense due process. Never in my life have I ever been subpoenaed or involved in any court case. So, this was horrifying. But I eventually decided to place my faith in our countless and some heroes in the government. At the LPO, I found thoroughly professional, cordial and law-abiding officers who assured me of the protection of my basic rights following the submission of the formal affidavit. I was aware of the identity of the person behind the Facebook post, which unfairly affected the image of the whole government agency. Lastly, I know, many other hyper-professional and reliable folks in the government, whom I have met throughout the years in my capacity as a scholar and media practitioner. In-depth conversations with senior officials such as Defense Secretary Delphine Marine Zana, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Benjamin Rasso Madrigal Jr., and then Romeo Bronner, among many others, has constantly reassured me about the professionalism and patriotism of our defense establishment. The same can be said about folks such as the Department of Finance under Secretary Carl Shua and Assistant Secretary Tony Lambino, as well as the Malaya brothers, Assistant Secretary Eduardo and Jonathan Malaya, whose unquestionable confidence and level-headedness have instilled in me a strong sense of confidence in now for government in general. No matter our disagreement with politicians, we should never lose touch with the bigger picture of confidence and patriotism among countless and some heroes in our government, who ensure our basic safety and well-being with indubitable dedication. Left square bracket email protected right square bracket. Thank you for watching.
please subscribe.